This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Monday, April 4th, 2016. Euro dollar. So the euro has stalled out after posting a fresh 2016 high at 114.38 on Friday, with the market preferring to correct or consolidate a little bit ahead of the next major move. At this point, the pressure does remain on the top side, though there is some stiff resistance on a medium term basis above 114 and towards 115. A break back below the recent low that we saw on Friday, which came in at 113.38. 35 would however be required to take the immediate pressure off the top side. Sterling dollar. So cable remains under broad pressure with the market once again being well capped into recent gains above 145 and the focus now is on a retest of recent support which comes in around 140.53, a break below of which would expose the recent 7 year low at 138.36 further down. At this point only back above 145.15 would delay the immediate bearish prospects for cable. Dollar yen. So dollar yen remains confined to a multi day bearish consolidation with a break back below the recent 11067 multi month low to open the door for the next major downside extension, which could expose the 107 to 108 area further down. At this point, it would take a break back above 115 to take the immediate pressure off the downside and force a shift in the structure. Euro Swiss. So not much going on with Euro Swiss as it continues to consolidate, but overall the recovery structure here remains intact and the market is expected to continue to be very well supported on dips down towards 108. A break back above 11024 will strengthen the outlook and accelerate gains towards the recent multi-month peak at 112 further up. Aussie dollar. So Aussie is showing signs of stalling out after posting a fresh 2016 high last week at 77.23, but it's going to take a break back below 74.77 to confirm or strengthen the possibility for some form of a top and accelerate declines. Until then, the pressure does remain on the top side and there is risk for some form of a higher low ahead of the next major upside extension towards next key resistance in the 78.50 area. Dollar CAD. So signs of potential basing in dollar CAD after the market traded down just shy of the October 2015 base around 2830, reaching 2858 ahead of this latest minor bounce. At this point, there is the possibility for the formation of a double bottom with a break back above 3296 to c confirm this and accelerate gains potentially into the 137s. However, the market will need to take out 3296 to strengthen this outlook and take the immediate pressure off the downside. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi has come back under pressure after posting a fresh 2016 high in the previous week at 69.67 and the market could be poised for additional declines over the coming sessions back down towards critical support at 65.46. At this point any rallies, the rallies are very well capped into towards the 69 area and ahead of 70 and only a break back above 70 would really compromise the overall bearish outlook for Kiwi dollar. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 re retains its impressive bid tone with the market rallying to another 2016 high early Monday to 2076 about thus far. But at this point there is still risk for the formation of a medium term lower top below the record highs going back to 2015 ahead of the next major downside extension. A break below 2021 would be required initially to strengthen this outlook and expose a retest of the critical recent multi month low at 1808 further down. Really only above 2100 would take the immediate pressure off the downside or, or negate the possibility for the formation of a medium term lower top and bearish resumption. Gold. So despite recent setbacks, gold continues to be very well supported on dips ahead of 1200 and ultimately while the market holds above previous resistance now turns support at 1190, the consolidation is favored to carve out a fresh higher low ahead of the next major upside extension beyond the recent 2016 highs in the 1280s and towards 1307, the 2015 peak further up. At this point only a close below 1190 would compromise this newly adopted constructive outlook for gold.